The House GOP voted on several bills this week funding different parts of the federal government. Now in the past, I've opposed most of these bills because they've done nothing to defund Joe Biden's weaponization of the justice system, nothing to seal our southern border, nothing to stop bureaucrats from injecting every single woke acronym imaginable from DEI to ESG to CRT into our lives. But this year, House Republicans laid down a conservative marker that will serve as a spending blueprint for the next administration. You only have to look at the State Department, USAID and Foreign Assistance Funding Bill as proof of what's taken place. This bill put together by my friend and fellow Floridian Mario diaz Bolart cuts State Department funding by 11%. You all hear me when you pay attention to these videos. You hear me constantly complaining. I was going to use another word to say what I do about it, about the funding that the US government does in sending your dollars overseas in the most wasteful ways. You've heard me talk about uh, funding drag shows in Ecuador or funding atheism in Nepal for half a million dollars or helping Tunisians to reintegrate themselves into their own country of Tunisia. These are things that your tax dollars, the State Department, has sent your money to do. They just waste your money. They give money to the Taliban, a terrorist organization that we were at war with. The list goes on and on. But Mario diaz Bilar works to cut these things. Cutting 33 special envoys in total. This includes Biden's special envoys for climate change, racial equity, Palestinian affairs, special envoy for advancing LGBT human rights. Every single one of these people has an office and a budget and a staff from which they work every day against America's national security interests. They should have been fired a long time ago, but this wasn't the only win in this bill. I was able to secure a provision blocking Joe Biden from using your tax dollars to resettle refugees from Gaza into the United States of America. We don't need that taking place here. The message here is simple. Why would we want to import the same people who cheered on Hamas as they butchered innocent Americans, innocent Israeli citizens, as they were taking them hostage, other things on October 7th. They provided aid and comfort to the enemy every single day, and yet Joe Biden wants to bring them into your backyard. Not under my watch. I'm going to keep fighting to stop that.